So Barry, as we were talking earlier, most people today, when you mention pearls, eh, pearls, they have no comprehension that natural pearls, those that form as an accident of nature, a little sea parasite getting <laughs> into the shell, um, they have, from the beginning of time, been revered as one of the rarest of all gems. And in fact, um, as I mentioned, there's no question in my mind that the reason Queen Elizabeth I and <laughs> of England and all the pearls. King of Spain you know, were so competitive to, to control the new world was the pearls. discovery of pearls. And these particular pearls being natural pearls, the uniqueness of them is exceptional. But you also find in these the, the sizes, the shapes, and the colors. Oh, the colors. Are, I, I, are outstanding. The colors. I mean, there are some that are pink. Some that are kind of a bronzy, interesting color. Some that are almost yellow. Some that are, are grays and blacks and blue blacks. I mean, the colors are amazing. All shapes, all sizes. All shapes. And the uniqueness, we did find that one stone that was almost a, a star in it, yes, like it, a sapphire. In fact, it, I was shocked to look at that pearl and see what appeared to be almost a star effect right. in a natural pearl. I don't think I have ever seen that in a pearl previously. And to think that these pearls, number one, the, the quantity of them, um, that was just an amazing archaeological discovery. I find it uh, very special uh, for both of us to be yeah. able to even have uh, counted these yeah. and actually uh, visited with them. Yes. Because to me, they're, they're as they are to you, just so exceptional. They are so exceptional. And, and in addition to the quantity and the size and the range and colors, that these are from the 15th century. They've been carbon dated to be in this condition mm. in terms of their beauty hundreds of years later. And you look at them and, and we talk about the durability of pearls. Yes. And, and this certainly uh, would state it. It proves. I, I it mean, proves it. most people also think of pearls as not durable. Pearl is one of the most durable of all gems, but the surface, the, the lovely nacre surface, it is softer. So you have to be careful not to, you know, dump them in a jewelry box and have harder things scratch the surface but they are incredibly durable. They can take more abuse. In fact, well, you know I love pearls. That's why my engagement <laughs> ring is a pearl. And, and this ring is a 19th century piece. I was clapping at a gemological meeting. And I'm going like that. And all of a sudden, I noticed this arc flying through the room. And I realized it's the pearl from my ring. And I said, my pearl. And a guy jumps up to try to catch it, misses it. It hits the cinder block wall, drops to the cement oh, right. floor, rolls to the top of the of the auditorium and not even so much as a scratch. If that had been a gemstone, a sapphire ruby, and when it hit that cinder block wall, you probably would have had sure, two pieces. Sure. But pearls are incredibly durable and they are incredibly rare. And they are one of the most amazing of all the gems because think about it, most gems have to be cut and polished to reveal their beauty, right? Nothing with pearls. Not with pearls. From the moment they come out of the oyster, or mollusk, whichever type it is. I mean, I'm assuming they would wash it off first. Right. But <laughs> its beauty is there from the very start. It's the only gem which man does not improve, or woman <laughs> does not improve. And, and nothing else. I really have to thank you for, for allowing me to be here today and to participate. Oh, uh, it's, a, it's a chance in a lifetime. Uh, Barry, uh, to, to, <laughs> to be sitting here with this many natural pearls uh, of such beauty and historical significance, mm -hmm. I mean, I really believe these are the reason Spain and England were so interested in dominating the New World. It wasn't just the New World. Yeah, there was gold and there were these other things. But it was the pearls, the rarest, most highly coveted of all the gems. And I mean, if you go back 3,500 years ago, it is the pearl, not diamonds, 
that was Everybody the gem associated with Everybody love and marriage. That. Exactly. Right. 3,500 years ago. And the preserver of life, Rig Veda, goes down into the sea to bring forth a pearl to bestow upon his daughter on her wedding day. And they, their value in every way, even as a metaphor for life. Think about it. Sea parasite bores its way through the shell and lodges itself in the membrane. Right. Some pearls, the, the irritation kills them. They just die. They give up. Some oysters produce something, but it's not pretty. It's ugly. You wouldn't want to wear it. The rarity of that mollusk creating something of great beauty is so rare. But you know the difference between the one that gives up and dies, the one that creates something beautiful, and the one that creates something beautiful is the action the animal takes. And isn't it that way with life? When Just we're confronted with adversity, how we deal with it is what makes the difference between giving up or creating something ugly or creating something beautiful. And that's why one reason I chose the mm -hmm. pearl ring for my engagement ring because I think it is a beautiful metaphor for life itself and so did the ancient world. They saw it as a metaphor for life. It comes from a living creature. It comes from water, the most important life-giving element and its beauty is there from the very beginning.